Dimitri. Hello, Hello. Los Angeles Poverty Department. <laughs> So, uh, so what is this mural and who made the mural? How did it come about? So in 2017, through a relationship with the LA Catholic Worker and Kenny Chow, from, um, who runs the Catch-21, we organized a mural project that covered this whole wall in 2017. And we had a lot of folks from Skid Row participate. And even this year, some of those, those uh, artists came back and they're painting with us again. Um, but there was evolution, there was development with these different artists and they evolved in their art. But in this last, I think it was late summer, it might've been autumn, the wall got uh, so heavily tagged that um, they weren't willing to wait until I came back to town to fix it. So the wall got buffed out. But at that same time I was on the East Coast, I was on the East Coast of Philly painting with Shane Claiborne in a simple way and Joshua Grace who's one of our painters on this wall. and. Um, and everybody wanted to come to California for the winter session. And what I realized is we had this beautiful resource of all these talented artists that wanted to paint this winter. And uh, and that was amazing. And then when I found out that the wall got, got tagged and blasted, I said, okay, and we have a wall. We have talented artists and a wall. Now all we need, what do we need? Oh, we need some cash. But we figured out how to do that. I, for one, humbled myself to God and I did some something called organic fundraising. And I talked to all the people that I've been knowing on Skid Row and in LA and across the country and say, hey, would you like to support this project? And the money came and it came in a very loving and natural way. So all the artists could get compensated and, um, and Skid Row artists could get paid as professionals. And so that was a huge development this year was that we had um, through Crucio and his sidewalk project, we had at least four of his protégés coming to the wall painting, getting trained in spray paint and brush on, on how to put your image on paper onto a wall and they got compensated. So that was a huge development and a joyous uh, accomplishment. Yes. And so, so who were the people that sponsored the wall? Okay, so the LA Catholic Worker has been sponsoring uh, our efforts, but also um, also Los Angeles Poverty Department, and then a lot of families and individuals from the Hippie Kitchen, they contributed. And uh, it's been very like familial and relational sort of support. That's cool, yeah. yeah. And so what, what is, I see, I see underwater. Yeah. I see a beautiful underwater scene, and then there is, the, sur the bow above the surface. So how came this whole, uh, because there was a water mural before, so how did the, come the design uh, to come together? Thank you, Henriette, that's a good question. So last time we still had the theme, defend the sacred. And that terminology came from the activist movement uh, at Standing Rock when they were fighting to protect the water. The native folks were fighting to defend their waters. And when I went there, I they educated me and informed me how the waters were being challenged and they were being um, they were under duress at, from capitalist interests that were trying to profit off oil and all these different things, drilling, mining, all this different stuff. Um, so when I came here, I wanted to show some love and respect for the water, salty and fresh. And um, so the, the, the theme, defend the sacred, is our main uh, message. But it's not just defend the, the sacred waters or earth, it's also defend the sacred that's in each person. Every person on Skid Row has the, the sacred inside of them, the divine inside of them. And we want that to be uh, part of our messaging. On that side, it says uh, water is life in the top corner. And on this side, it says the living water over Catherine Morris and Jeff Dietrich, who have been serving on Skid Row for 50 plus years. Um, and so that was been the main, those are the main words. But on the top level, there, I, I, there's a symbolic layer on top and it has a lot of words of prayer, you know, and blessings words. And um, the idea was that this wall faces downtown LA and Skid Row in, in between here and downtown LA. So the hope was that our work would be a prayer for the well-being of people's hearts, minds, and bodies and souls in LA and on Skid Row, and in California, and in the United States, and all over the globe, you know, if we were gonna get big. And with all of this energy and power of love that's in this, the talents of these people and how they expressed it into the wall, that amplifies the prayers and makes it uh, more powerful. Uh -huh. yeah. So it was a collaboration in designing the wall? 
Yes, it was a huge collaboration. Okay. The, the um, last time it was the earth. We were. It was the coast looking out to the water, and it was all the fishermen of the world, African fishermen, Asian fishermen, South American and European fishermen. But this time it was from the water looking to the coast. And uh, and that way we're showing all the living creatures that are on in our community, in our oceanic community, all the water people, all the fish people, and uh, even the kelp people. And the, yes. the, uh, the crustaceans and the shellfish <laughs> and the sea anemones yes. and the urchins and yes. the seal. The ray. Yeah. So, so did all the artists that worked on the wall also design some of it, uh, or, or was there one big design already figured out before you started? Thanks. That's a good question. Um, so, because I had the responsibility for the image, I did a lot of preemptive sketching, and I was with my brother Rufo, who's been a part last time, and he was a part this time on this wall. And so I did. So we did multiple long sketches to. To fit the technical of 77 feet, yeah. and and then we um, and then we it was a refining process yeah. every time. But it started. I had to at least present an image, and then when uh, Joshua Grace joined us on the fourth, I I opened it up to him. I said, "Dude, what do you see that we could improve? We could advance. We could change. We can change anything. What do you what do you say?" And then Ellie Sanchez came on the ninth, and we said, "Ellie, what do you think? It can be transformed." Don't change we can still evolve it and and then we presented also to crucial yeah. during the process and i said hey crucial what do you see so but by that time the principal painters had set the structure or what i call the bones the bones of the project um we had already set that then there was enough space that we could include anybody right and uh and we could include all these different folks who, who brought little sea fish or shrimp or the clam or the sea anemone or what have you um and so that's how it evolved yeah and it's the goal was to empower artists who are amateurs or artists who are a little bit shy to go big but empower them to um not to, to leave their sketchbook and be able to transfer what's in their sketchbook onto a wall and learn that sort of um, that trade, the mural arts trade. That's wonderful. And it's, it's very beautiful, I must say. And it's again like the other one, so intricate, all these little details, it's amazing. So thank you, thank you, and thank everybody. I'm gonna just and, get everybody. Wait, before, yes, yeah. and oh, this yeah, is one yes, of our friends, yes, yes, Ellie yes. Sanchez from Ellie, Mexico City. Hello, Ellie. <laughs> and she also painted at Los Angeles Poverty P Department last year. That's right. Ah, yeah. in Tabia. Tabia. Hi, Tabia. Greetings. Yeah, greetings. She was with... original Lorraine. <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah, with an original Lorraine T-shirt. Are you finished? It's very beautiful. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to quickly go Feel along free. the wall. Yeah. Yes. That's Ronnie Jarvis from. Ronnie Jarvis. Hi. Hi. Call me Ronnie or call me Cameron. <laughs> I flew in from Minnesota, oh, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Minnesota, just for the weekend. Oh, wow. I've gotten to paint with these folks a few times, last two years. So it's exciting to finally be out in Los Angeles and see see how they do it out here, have some sun, yeah. and yeah, put some paint on the wall. It's beautiful. Thank you. Oh, so you're working on the fish here? Flying fish. Yes. Flying fish, yes. Another party going. They go out of the water. And the dolphins. Beautiful. So this is definitely the way for me right now. Jellyfish. Hi! Hi! You're working on the jellyfish? Yes, this one. So it's the most like festive jellyfish. <laughs> wow, look at all that detail. Yes. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah. What's your name? My name is Mina. Mina. Welcome. Thank you. The Hi, song Joshua. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> it's so good to see you and John down here again. Yeah, it's beautiful. And beautiful. Scenic Skid Row. Yeah. <laughs> What do you think of the uh, the wall so far? Yeah, it's gorgeous. It's, oh yeah, you oh you're working on the. Me, I'm just putting in the uh, important names, including the. Oh, one. look at that! Was it I didn't even. Oh, you guys are too nice. No, you two are the best. 
and the Los Angeles Catholic Walker. Power organization, Power Tier. Oh Power man, catch 22, one, oh help. <laughs> and what, and, and this, this white, big white. Yeah, that's, that would be the seagull of Skid Row. The seagull of Skid Row. Because there's lots of fish here. That's right. And there are always uh, seagulls around. Yeah. <laughs> That's so cool. No, but I need something that big to make that bubble. So, if, if I don't have something, is there any kind of way I can do it by eye, you think, to make that bubble image like this? Okay, Ray needs this, a bubble. This is one of my favorite things over here. It's, it's Ray and Ellie's friendship. Ray and Ellie, yeah. And how much they admire one another and are uh, have been just, you know, talking about little things and then now they're starting to let's like get to the artistic process, talk about music together, drumming, because you know, Ray is, is an incredible drummer. Drummer, yeah. yeah. He's a super drummer. Yeah, so that's one of the, I love that stuff. Oh, but, that's so cool. Yeah, uh, all the other connections. Mexico City connection now. So. Okay, no, yeah. So you're all going to drum and, and yeah. paint in Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> wow, guys, look at that. Here, dolphins, whales. It's gorgeous. Okay. Dry brush. It's to bring it out. Oh, well, I love you, Annie. I got it, I got it. I got that, that is, yeah, you got it. And then just smooth it out, like, like shape. Okay, with the light brush. Okay, that's, that's my last thing I'll do. Yeah, yeah, six. I gotta let that dry. Then I need to come fix this. What is your last thing, Ray? Uh, this is the last thing I did, the oyster. The oyster, ah, yes. With the uh, indique symbol, that means, uh, uh, oh my goodness. Uh oh. This one is. Which one? That oyster? This is, yeah. yeah. Oyster. Yeah. That's. Uh, listen very well. It's. It, 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 uh, oh my goodness. I can't even think of the name of it. I can't think of the name of the language, but I can tell you what it means. Yes. It means to listen well. Ah. You know, uh, keep your ears to the ground. Those are like four ears. Yes. So it's like use your ears to somewhat see because they look like eyes. But those are supposed to be ears. <laughs> okay. Those are the ears. And this one is uh, divinity. Divinity. divinity uh, divine, divine mother, divine sacred. So this was defending the sacred, and this is the emblem of our divi uh, divine sacredness. Uh -huh. So I think it's it fit. Yes. Sacred and sacred. Sacred and sacred above and sacred below. So right. as above, as so below. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that one is, I'm gonna let this dry. Uh -huh. Then I gotta come back over here. Uh, well, somebody was painting and it splashed. Uh huh. So I'm gonna go over that. Oh, go over it, yeah. yeah. Make it better, yeah. This today's the last day. Yeah, man. So this is it. Hang out. <laughs> Get it right. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Right. Thank you, Ray. Thank you, Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Rufo. Hi. Hi. You're doing the final touches? Yeah, I'm just like strength adding some white to the uh, surface water, uh -huh. especially up along the edge. It helps. It's, that's why the water breaks. Yes. And, uh, yeah, I've been working on the kelp and on the juice. And the on the kelp? Yeah, oh, yeah, this kelp. Mm -hmm. oh, wow. How much time have you spent on the mural, Crucia? Uh, I don't know. It's, it's almost like 
it came together very quickly, right? I think it's like two or three weeks that you guys... Uh... Yeah, it came up fast. Yeah. It means you work fast. Yeah, this time is more detailed than before. Even more, huh? Yeah. Yeah, a whole lot more. There's Catherine. Her hand. Look at that hand. It's nice. And then we have Jeff. I can see my own Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Living water.